Well, people talk about AI a lot and it's present all over the place. Uh, some people are super excited. Some people are scared. Some people are a mix of both. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm actually prudent with it. I see it as a, a tool that we can use and that can you know help things. It used to be that we had to count on our fingers or with rocks or pebbles and then we had calculators which was great and saves a ton of time i see ai in a similar way it can help us and it gives us access to uh, more information more easily uh, i use a couple bots myself and i introduce them also to to the team and to customers um so i think there are yes big trends around automations and, and having tools work for us more seamlessly uh, additional you know integrations so to have and it's very big in the microsoft environment with the with the whole stack where all the solutions can talk to each other and work with each other but i always see that as i have a toolbox and sometimes i need a hammer and sometimes that that's not what i need i need a screwdriver so you need to pick the right one for the job you have you can't just say let's do all the ai things or like i've heard recently we're now a ai forward company ai first what does that mean why yeah. what's the purpose so I think we have to be mindful about how we use the things. Um, yes. That yeah, to your point though, like automation, I mean, in and of itself is a great service industry that, you know, I actually was speaking with a manager yesterday at a Microsoft partner talking about how they offer automation as a service for, uh, for their customers. And it's only going yeah. to continue to grow in that sense. But, yeah, I, I think it's really a niche to explore and we need to embed these these new, I'm going to say, functions or abilities in our products because it really helps the, the, the users or the people we, we're working with. Right. Um, there are, yeah, very interesting solutions already out there that, that use that technology.